Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. It has been a long day of running battles. In this video, I want to highlight on some quick observations I made. But we are still working on a detailed analysis of the events that transpired today. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. The first observation, Raila announced that today was to be a public holiday. William Root and his team chided him and even mocked him. But looking at what happened today in the city, it came out as a resemblance of a public holiday. Businesses were closed, children could not go to school, public transport was paralyzed, and literally, Nairobi became a sleeping town. So Raila was right to say, today was to be a public holiday. That's the first observation I made. Secondly, William Ruto and his team are very good when it comes to threats, words of mouth, jaribu tatuona. Very good when it comes to threats. But the real action, <laughs> the real action, that's zero. If you listen on how William Ruto and Gadi Gashago were talking, you could think they had a lot of knowledge on dealing with Ray Rudinga and his brigade. But from what we saw and witnessed, Raila Odinga did outsmart William Ruto and his team. And I'm saying that because Raila Odinga achieved this mission and William Ruto and his team helped him achieve that mission. Just as I've been saying here, a revolution is not a one day's event. It's a process. And today has been the beginning of the processes. William Ruto entered into Ray Lodinga's trap by interfering with the protests. And that gave the protests more impact. In the event the protests could have been peaceful, I don't think they could have been of more impact as they were today. Because today, the entire world, looking at BBC, CNN, Al Jazeera, they were focusing more in Kenya than even in Nigeria or in South Africa where demonstrations were also taking place. All these international media, their main focus was in Kenya. And that actually made, gave, gave more impacts to the, to, to the Azimios demonstrations today. And that happened because of the kind of police brutality that was witnessed. And at one point, Riley Wentz made it very clear, he also threatened that he's going to sue William Ruto at the Hague. Another observation I made, Raila Odinga is the only politician in Kenya who has got suicidal supporters. No any other leader in Kenya has the kind of support Raila Odinga has. And I'm saying that because the kind of force William Ruto was prepared to deal with Raila Odinga supporters, nobody could even think or expect that events like this could happen. Nobody expected 
such kinds of events, you are seeing security forces actually scampering for safety. To a point, some are even jumping walls. The people's power. Yes. So you are seeing clearly that Ren Odinga, and I won't be wrong to say this, is the only politician in Kenya who has that kind and such <laughs> kind of supporters. Supporters who are ready and willing to do anything as directed by Ray Rodiga. Another observation, if you look on how Ray Rodinga started, rather on how the procession started, it started at Serena. Raila wanted to enter CBD, the police blocked him. So Raila was forced to change route and he landed in Eastlands. And when Raila Udinga was leaving Serena, he had no crowd. In fact, the police had dispersed the few individuals who were milling around there. But by the time Raila Udinga was entering through Starehe, thousands of Kenyans had actually joined him. By the time he was in his lee, the crowd was even far much bigger. And at, at every junction, the police would disperse the crowd, but in, in just a matter of minutes, the crowd could actually even grow big and even bigger. And that was the trend. That confirms that Taylor Odinga is not just your ordinary politician. He's somebody you can't write off. That's also something that came out very clearly. And in today's demonstrations, the, this is a very big warning to the chest stamping regarding Shagwa, William Ruto and his team. Because before today, they were really talking very badly and calling all sorts of insults against Silo Dinga. But today, I know they have come to realize who Rahil Odinga is and why all former presidents, starting with Moi Kibaki Uru, had to work with Rahil Odinga. I know William Ruto has realized that today. If he has not realized that, then I won't be wrong to say Ruto is a moribund president. His government is moribund. We are just counting days for this government to be taken home. Another observation that came out very clearly, Raila is a very brave leader and that bravery might be the reason why Kenyans love him. He's a man who never loses hope. When everything seemed bleak at Serena, even some of us were wondering, and now we felt and thought that that was the end now. <laughs> now that the police had blocked him from going to the, to the CBD. But from nowhere, we find that Arayu Dinga is even addressing thousands in the slums. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. We are still working on a detailed analysis on exactly what happened today. Make sure, make sure you stay tuned for that detailed analysis by subscribing to our channel. Yes. And for those who want to support the forum, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or feel free to channel your support to the number. Let's meet in our next analysis.